It always comes to this. Hey guys, just here again to do another tattoo progress update. Uh, where I last left off, I just had my chin tattoo touched up. And uh, I believe I did the red and black highlights of my, well not highlights, the red and the, the black in my uh, left armpit here. So, as you can see, that's healing up great. Um, no real change in that. Um, this last session we just did, I'll get into what we did, but I'll, uh, I'll slowly get there. Um, Rick wants to see if we can darken the perimeter of this chest tattoo just to see if we can pop it out a little bit more. So he just put a little bit of black in there. Um, it was a really short session. We only did about an hour, uh, maybe even less than that. He wasn't feeling great and I still wanted to get tattooed anyway. So he did a little bit. Um, I wasn't forcing him to, but uh, he felt, you know, better to get something done than nothing done. So. We put a little bit of that gloom and triple X um, beneath this chest piece to see if we could pop it out a little bit more, you know, increase the uh, contrast a little bit. Um, but ultimately, I already think it already does pop out quite a bit. But if we could ramp it up a little bit more, that's great too. We were talking, well, I haven't brought it up with him yet, but I've talked a lot about potentially blacking out my chest piece. Um, overall, it's been pretty unanimous from everyone that. I shouldn't do that, and I should keep the chest piece. Uh, there was almost no support for blacking it out. There were a few people that that thought it could look better with something else there. I already do know what I would put there. Um, since it's most likely not going to happen anytime soon, if ever, I may as well just go ahead and say what I would do if I black this out, is I would just continue this theme of eyes. I would have like a giant red eye um, with multiple red eyes within it. So it'd be almost like a cluster of eyes and it would be kind of in a strange shape. It would make sense. Um, it wouldn't be quite as wide as this, but it would be fairly, um, it would be fairly wide. It would take up a lot of space. Um, it would be more of like a, like a, like another huge eye, almost like the one on my chest, but it's hard to describe it. I would need to draw a picture of it because I'm not an artist myself. Um, it would be a very terrible, well, I'm not a tattoo artist, or I should say I'm not, I don't draw. We'll say that because I, I'm certainly a visionary and I have a lot of uh, creativity. My medium, if anything, would be writing, though. For anyone who's uh, checked out my Instagram, I write a lot. I've written poetry and et cetera for forever. I actually have been, I've actually written a few books, but they've never been published and I don't really care. And that's a whole other story. Anyway. I'm yammering, so I'll get back to what I was talking about. It'd be like a cluster of eyes. And it would, they would be very much in line with like the spider theme. And uh, I think it would suit better, but it might never look as cool as this or as popped. It might not pop out as much because obviously we'd be going over black. Um, so anyway, yeah, Rick wanted to pop out the chest tattoo a little bit more uh, since we're keeping it for now. And probably forever, but maybe not. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to achieve that effect. It's going to have more of this tone of black as opposed to this tone of black. So again, the uh, uh, Panthera is not just darker, but a bit of a different shade altogether than uh, dynamic black. So it really does stand out and it seems to stand the test of time as well. It seems to be holding up as well as it's put in. Um, not to say that the dynamic didn't do that, it's just the dynamic has this tendency to kind of gray out a little bit more than the, the Panthera, where the Panthera is more of a true black. Um, it's actually been a, a hidden benefit to me, considering I am doing all of these new tattoos over top. I still am wondering if dynamic would show over Panthera, though, just because it's a different tone. And if I was a tattoo artist myself, I would be experimenting with those kinds of things. I would be always wanting to, to, to try new blacks and uh, see the difference between them. See if you can heal one over another and all that jazz. 
But anyway, I digress. I've talked enough about that crap for now. Um, people are probably wanting me to get to the fun part. I obviously, for the last little while, um, I've been complaining about my nipples. Now, <laughs> the, the shade of my nipples has been very dissatisfying to me. Um, people are going to wonder why I just got them pierced. I went through all the pain and bop bop bop, the healing of getting my nipples pierced. And now I've taken them out already and I've tattooed them again. Well, for me, the pain doesn't bother me at all. So I'm indifferent to the pain of all of this. I don't give a crap. I would do, I would do this, I would pierce them 10 times and tattoo them 10 times in a row if it meant that they would be perfect, right? So just to get that off the table before I show them off, none of that stuff is a concern for me. It didn't concern me that I lost my nipple piercings and oh boy, the pain of it, oh, I couldn't do that again. No, I could clearly do it again. I've done it three times. I just want them to be right. And because I give, so, I give people so much crap on my Remy Reacts and, you know, not in a, ma a, a mean way, but like, I think if you're going to get a big chest tattoo, you should have tattooed nipples. Like, you shouldn't avoid it. You should, you should just go there. It's, it's only going to take you a little while to get done. Now I'll get into that a little more in a minute. Um, when you first do your nipples the first time, it should only take you a few minutes. You know, at the most, a few minutes each nipple. So just go for it, you know? If you're there anyway, you may as well go for it. That's my thinking anyway. So <laughs> I was having a hard time talking about it on Remy Racks recently, whenever I would see a chest piece, because I know that mine needed work. Because when I pierced them, they lightened up a whole crap load. And I was not cool with that. I was very upset with that. So we, we hadn't done one thing yet though. Even when they were black enough for me, we'd never done um, the Panthera with Triple uh, X and Gloom like we've been doing for like stuff like this. We haven't done that with them yet. So that was always a question mark for me anyway. Had they not lightened up, that still would have been a question mark for me. But now we have done that. Rick spent 15 minutes on each individual nipple on Wednesday this week. Not Wednesday, sorry, Monday this week. 15 minutes on each of them. So we wanted to be got, I told him at the beginning, I was like, I don't want these nipples light anymore. I don't care if you have to deep fry them. I don't care if you have to barbecue them. I don't care if you run them over with your motorcycle. They're gonna be black by the end of this session. We're gonna make good and goddamn sure of it this time because I don't want these going pink on me ever again. I don't want to see any light spots again. So <laughs> he, he, he did what I said. He, uh, he took his sweet ass time and uh, really stretched them out as much as you can stretch a nipple. I never knew you could really stretch a nipple until this last session. We stretched a nipple this last session. We, we got in there with a little seven mag and hit every crevice, every crevice, painstakingly. Um, that was probably the most thorough he's ever been. And so if we were only gonna have a fairly short session, we made good and goddamn sure it was a good one. <laughs> so now I'm, I've been talking about them for a while. I'll go ahead and show them off now because they're like black holes, right? You can't see the nipple anymore. Those things look like creepy little black eyes now, so. That's pitch black. Now this is three days later. Um, some parts of them have already peeled. They are, if anything, too black, which is perfectly fine by me, All right? They, they look creepier than they did before with the piercings. I thought they looked like little eyes before. Now they do, now they really do. Now they really, really look black and they look really, really evil. They match the theme of this suit and I'm happy that they're a lot darker than they're probably going to be the blackest thing on me. They might be as black as this when they're all when it's all said and done, and uh, I can be content with that now. So, yeah, I'm happy with these. They might. I, I was thinking when I seen them, I was like, people are going to probably think I made them too dark, right? People are probably going to think, oh, now they don't. Now they pop out because they're too black. I'm okay with that reality. I've had these things tattooed seven times now. As far as I'm concerned, they, sh they could be even blacker than this, right? They should be as black as you can get with the amount that I've put into them. With the I don't think anyone in the world has ever had their t nipples tattooed that many times. Most people get tired of trying after a uh, few passes and they go as far as cutting them off. In fact, I had a few people who noticed my 
nipples had lightened up in pictures and stuff. And they were like, just, you're gonna have to get them cut off. They're never gonna be dark enough for you. And uh, I think they will be this time. I think we're gonna get there this time. But the one thing I'm not gonna do this time is I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tat or pierce them again. Um, I think it's the last time I'm gonna pierce my nipples. It's uh, it's a little sad. I did like them, and my wife liked them too. I thought they were a cool aesthetic, and they they did they did have a unique effect in this suit. They they went with the shape of the chest. I said that when I first got them done. I really liked the effect that it achieved my chest. But if it comes down to pierced nipples or um, tattooed nipples, and I can't have either, then I'm going with tattooed nipples all day every day. So if it has to be a choice, I've made my choice. I was just so, I was so surprised that they lightened up like that from the piercings, but Kevin, uh, guy I do uh, Revenue Reacts with and we used to do the podcast all the time, um, he posited the guess that <laughs> it's a little like laser though, because all laser's doing is uh, trauma under the skin. All it's doing is kind of breaking up the, the cells, right? Like so that the, the ink will be carried away. So there might have been just a lot of trauma on the piercing and it had a similar effect as laser because it was getting worse over time. It wasn't like it was a one and done, like, oh, we, uh, like they got a little lighter and then they stopped. No, they were getting lighter procedurally. It was getting lighter a little bit every day. I was thinking, man, they're lighter than they were yesterday. One week to the next, they were a little lighter. And I wasn't cool with that. He likes it. Um, the lighting that I've been using for these vlogs and some of the videos we've been doing, it did accentuate that um, lightness. They didn't look that light like in person. They didn't look that bad, but uh, I remember Kevin did a little video. I'll probably put it in here uh, when Rick was tattooing me a few weeks ago and I didn't want to post it anywhere because it was like, man, those nipples are pink. How are they pink? It was, it was I was a little self-conscious. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's a strange thing and you know what? Probably no one else would notice it, but for me, that's all I could see. And so it had to be done. Now, that being said, I couldn't be done with this video unless I took a minute to, to talk about the pain. Now, typically I've been one to say the nipples aren't as bad as people think, and I still think that. I'm not gonna change my mind on that. And my experience this last week has nothing to do with that. I just think my nipples have so much scar tissue in them and we spent so long saturating them that I would take my grade of seven or an eight for nipples and I would put it to a nine this week. Um, it was almost to the point where it was all like, like I couldn't get away from it. It was, I rarely say that, but because usually I can um, dissociate from any amount of pain, but the nipples this session, they were borderline a nine for me where all I could think about was the pain. I could still smile and enjoy the, the fact that they were being done and be happy about it, but it was pretty fucking unbearable this time. <laughs> and uh, I was happy. Um, I'm happy they're done and uh, I'm happy that that's behind me. Um, I hope I don't have to do it again. I would gladly do it again if I need to, but I'm hoping that that was the final time because I just think that my nipples have had enough. They've been through some shit and they're probably getting tired of it. The scar tissue in there just does not want to be tattooed. So I'm hoping that we've got her done now, but I may end up having to do a touch up. <laughs> now, hopefully since we got that Panthera in there now, whatever touch up work we have to do will be sparse, but if we need to, we need to. As I've always said with tattoos, if it's worth doing once, it's gotta be worth doing as many times as it takes. And if you're a perfectionist about these types of things, you may end up doing your nipples as many as seven times. <laughs> That's just how it goes. You want black nipples? You wanna be part of the black nipple club? It might take you a minute to get there. I have a buddy who's in the process of blacking out his fingers. Now my fingers are not perfect by any stretch. I have seen a few sets of fingers that are better than mine. Um, but mine are pretty good. They're good enough that I'm good with them. So that's all the proof you need that you can, you can get your nip, your uh, fingers completely saturated, but it takes a minute. Some things take time. If you're willing to put in the time, then you'll get there eventually, but it, it might not be right away. Anyway, 
Uh, I've talked enough about my very dark nipples. I will show them off real quick, close up. So for many angle and for many distance, those things are black holes now. And I have a feeling that once it's all said and done, they're still gonna be black holes. So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys have uh, enjoyed this one, I'll talk to you again soon and have a great day.